Hello, this is um, a tutorial on how to make rope from a plastic bottle. Rope, uh, rope like this, this I cut from a plastic bottle and um, you can take a plastic bottle and use this thing to make this material. I have a link of a Russian website that explains you how to make this but I will explain it a little here and then if you want to build your own and you don't understand it you can uh, look at the link I gave you. <coughs> there are many models on how to make rope from plastic bottles and there are many different techniques for that, some really simple and this is considered to be a more complex and as you can see it's not complex at all so it's uh, a little aluminium <coughs> and you drill a hole and mount uh, a cutter knife in it and then you saw here uh, different lengths and each length is the thickness of the rope so you have a I use only the really thick one in the middle one but that's for everyone different um, and then you have this one and that makes sure this one doesn't move so you put a little piece of wood in there and then press it this thing you'll see it's to keep the bottle and I noticed that on the internet versions you have Usually this is missing. There are even models you can buy for, I don't know, 20 euros. Um, and I think it's really practical as you maybe can see. But there is something more I want to tell you. You have bottles and a bottle like this. I took a big one that's, um, well, more material. And these ribbles. <coughs> are a problem for cutting and if you look at the websites uh, at the YouTube instruction videos usually all the bottles are flat and they are flat because they're made flat by the people that cut rope <coughs> and they don't tell you <coughs> so you see this is the same bottle you can see still see the traces of the, the ribbons so this one can become this one and there is a little trick of course to do that you must make sure the lid is closed and then you hold it above a stove and then two things happen the plastic gets hot and weak but the inner air um, expands because of the heat and then it, well, it looks a bit like a balloon doesn't it so uh, it's the plastic shrinks a little I mean it looks a bit smaller um, which is actually sad because um, less material but it gets flat and then you can cut rope from it because with this one that doesn't work so before you start cutting bottles uh, you need a gas stove. I have an electrical stove and I can tell you that doesn't work. If there is a hole somewhere in the bottle, um, it will just wrinkle up the plastic and it will not become the balloon kind of plastic. So you must make sure the lid is on and there is no hole in there. You'll immediately notice if there is a hole in there because it will just start wrinkling. Okay, I took one bottle that also had ribbles and I put it above my little stove. I had a cooking stove that I use when I go camping. You when so then you cut the bottom from your bottle. Wrong of in the 
sort of it needs a little extra it is better to have it cleaned and I usually cut it clean by hand so and now you see why I have this little thing because that's to keep it in place and if you it works without it um, but I really like it because it you don't have to fiddle so much with it. Okay, everything is set, sort of. So I fiddle it through and then I use the plier to cut. I will move on the other side. And then he this little stick keeps him up. I use the plier because sometimes the plastic is sharp and if you pull hard you might cut yourself. At least I like it this way better. And then you pull like this. how you make rope for from bottles and I need this rope to build my floating instruments and uh, that is I think how you anyone should be able to do it this you just you, know, you can use it for uh, one of the flutes as a horn or something okay that's it. 